Hi, Phil Lindsay for Peep Magazine. We're here at Aspas Casino in Newcastle. We're here with Jamie Boom Boom Jones ahead of his, well, it's not your fight debut, but it's your pro boxing debut. Yeah. And obviously you've been preparing for it for a while. You've obviously had a boxing background. You've done some MMA fighting. You've had your successes in that. And, but this pro debut has been coming for a while and now it's only a few days away. You must be getting extra excited now, I guess. I mean, this is probably the most excited I've ever been for a fight. The stakes are really high. Uh, everybody out there is wondering what's going to happen. Uh, like I said, I've, I've competed in uh, well over 100, 100 bouts in different disciplines. Uh, but this is probably going to be my biggest challenge um, after being out of the boxing game for so long yeah. and stepping back in. But not only stepping back in, stepping into uncharted territory against against the professionals. Yeah. So everybody, I mean, everybody's going to turn out to see it, and uh, I'm just going to go out there and do what I do best, boom, boom. like I always do. Boom boom. Yeah. So the. I guess when you fought, obviously in different um, fight, you know, the MMA, the different um, competitions, I've been uh, talking to different fighters, because when you go through your pro career, especially in the early stages, about get fighting different styles to prepare yourself, I suppose when you've been fighting obviously in different um, disciplines, you've been fighting different styles anyway, so you've had, you've, you've had a lot of preparation for this, but like you say, it's a new challenge, it's a new, it's start of a new chapter, isn't it? Yes. Like I've said to, to everybody that's, that's asked, I don't, I don't train to fight other, other disciplines, uh, sorry, other styles. All I do is train myself for my own style yeah. and focus on myself so no matter who I'm fighting no matter what style or whatever they're bringing um, you're going to bring more yeah, uh, yeah I'm just going to bring I'm just going to bring myself and I'm going to bring bring my game and, um, and and my style of fighting to them and let them deal with that let them worry about about my style not not the other way around um, and it, it's never done us any harm in the past and I can't see it doing us any 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 harm come Saturday I think that's probably the perfect attitude to go into this because with the with the show going out on TV, it's it's going to be a highlight show where it's, it's going to be two one-hour segments. So they probably won't be able to get all the action in there. So that's an extra incentive to go in there, put a performance in, look good, because then you're going to get more coverage on the TV. Yeah. So. Well, I can promise you now, um, my fights are never boring. I've never been involved in a boring fight in my life. Um, so... Once people see see me involved in the, on, on, I mean, I'm not trying to come across as arrogant or anything because I'm anything but. But once people get to see, get get to see me out there on the TV and and, and the way I perform and the way that I bring bring my style to to, to the crowd, people people won't be able to get enough of it. Um, so I, I'm not bothered about I'm not I'm not worried about coverage or anything like that because it, um, styles sell themselves and. Um, you know, mine, mine's, mine's no different. People love to see me fight and, uh, just as much as I love to go out there and put a shoe on for everybody that's there and involved. So, what I'm picking up from that, because I've, I've never actually seen you fight yourself. Well, obviously, fighting yourself, Tyson Fury punching himself. But no, but the, it's sometimes that the, the fan friendly fighters are the ones who are prepared to commit more. They generally put that little bit more risk, and you know, the obviously risk-free reward, and you've yeah. got to be careful with the balance of that. But if, yeah. you, if you're 100% committed and you go in and you give everything, rather than <laughs> playing it safe and being technically perfect, you know, the the purest boxing fans will appreciate the technicians, but the the majority of boxing fans they like to have that level of excitement there. Absolutely, I mean, um, everybody, everybody who's turning out, they're, they're parting with a hard-earned cash on at the end yeah. of the day. People don't want. People aren't going to want to buy tickets if 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 they're going out there. They're, they're bringing themselves out. They're they're arranging themselves around around this event, and like I said, parting with their cash. They don't want to come come there and see a half-hearted effort, because if they do, they won't come back. Yeah. Um, they want to they want to go out there. They want to see somebody who's put themselves through a, a, a rigorous training camp. Go out there and put it on the line, um, and not be not be uh, worried about. About um, about holding back, 
you know, going out there and just leaving, just leaving it all in the ring, and that, and that's that is what sells tickets, and that's always been, been, um, Your what I'm proud of. I'm yeah. proud. I'm proud of the fact that no fight's different. Um, I'll, I'll go into autopilot mode when I'm in there, and uh, and I'll go in there and I'll get the win. I'm looking w- without a doubt. This, you know. Without I mean, a doubt. Is. Trust me, this will be an exciting fight. Is um, this the perfect time for you to turn over? Because obviously with you being a fighting chance, you've got the, the televised shows, they're going to have four shows this year, including this one, and you've also got Phil Jeffrey, Steve Wraith, in case you want to fight for any times. The opportunities are out there now, probably better than ever on the, within the region, for getting keeping busy, getting those fights, yes. building your fan base up by, if you're fighting on the road and... You know, in different places, it's difficult to build that following up. Where with yeah. so many local shows, yeah, that's something that you can do. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm 25 year old now. Um, I'm young, 25. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm mature as a, I'm, I'm mature as a fighter. Yeah, um, and I know what it's all about. Uh, but yeah, definitely what you're seeing there, domestic shows, is 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 is, is huge at the minute, yeah. and, and it's never been bigger. So it, the opportunity's there to, to, to get plenty of experience in locally, and, and you don't have to go on the road. Um, the same until boxing, it's so much is about timing, and with your turning over everything's now, about timing. It is the perfect timing. It's all it? about timing, um, and there's never been a better time for Northeast boxing, but not just that for myself. Um, and I'm You're absolutely go, you? buzzing to be part of this, part of the whole thing. Um, I tell you what, yeah. we'll, 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 we'll tie this up now, but I just, I just want to make a comment here. It's just like me standing here talking to you, obviously we've, we've, we've had conversations before, but what comes across with yourself, Jamie, is you're so passionate. You can, you, you, I'm, I'm sure when I watch this video back, the passion that, you, that you're bringing here, I, I, I can't wait to see that carry across into the ring well, on this is my This is my life. It's all I've ever done. It's all I've ever been interested in. Um, and... I want to be the best, and I'm going to go out there, and I'm going to show the whole of the northeast just what I'm about on the 26th. So, can I just uh, wrap it up there by thanking my sponsors, Street Cars, and also the Fighting Net- Network? Thank you. No worries, Jamie Boom Boom Jones fighting this Saturday. Yeah, cheers. Thank Can't you. Wait, mate. All man. Cheers, man.